stories from your corner and the events happening in your community. Toledo News This Morning starts right now. Good windy, snowy, cold Saturday morning, Toledo. I'm Jaden Jefferson, and this morning on Toledo News This Morning, we begin with special weather coverage. Snow showers are likely today, but that just wasn't enough for Mother Nature because we will also have strong wind gusts, which will blow that snow around. Your high will be in the lower 30s and your low will be dangerously cold, around 10 degrees. But that Arctic chill, it's sticking with us through the end of this weekend and into next week. So for updates on all of these developing weather situations, be sure to give me a follow on social media for the latest. A preliminary injunction filed by NetChoice, a self-described trade association that represents tech companies, including Meta, has been granted by a judge. This is in the case of the Social Media Parental Notification Act, which would have gone into effect Monday. The law, product of an effort led by Ohio Lieutenant Governor John Husted, would require companies to create a system of age verification for users under 16, obtain consent from a guardian, and send written confirmation of that consent to the guardian. Now, what this preliminary injunction does is keep the law from going into place as the judge comes to a decision. The city of Toledo is putting out a call to all fourth graders in the Toledo Public and Washington Local Schools districts. This is for its Kid Mayor program. 13 kids in total will be selected, 12 kid council members and one kid mayor. Interested students can get applications from their teachers through the 22nd. This is an opportunity for them to get a first-hand look at public service as well as city government as a whole. This week, the Lucas County Board of Commissioners welcomed a familiar face, Anita Lopez, the now former county auditor. Lopez has been sworn in as Tina Skeldon Wozniak's replacement. Also during the board's annual organizational meeting, Pete Gherkin was once again elected board president. And Lisa Sebecki, who joined the commissioners in 2022, is staying put. Ohio House Democrats are preparing to host a gun violence prevention summit on the 15th of February at the State House in Columbus. It'll be a day of panels featuring elected representatives and law enforcement that starts at 10 a.m. The summit is free. However, you will have to RSVP by visiting ticketsource.us slash Ohio hyphen house hyphen Democrats. Beach House, Catholic Charities Diocese of Toledo, the Toledo Community Service Center, and the Toledo Lucas County Homelessness Board have collectively received a little over a million dollars from the Ohio Department of Development to tackle homelessness in our community. What's described in a City of Toledo news release as several rental properties in the city are why Mayor Wade Kasichavage will be traveling to Washington, D.C. on Thursday to meet with Department of Housing and Urban Development officials. Now, this is all in relation to tenant conditions at these properties. More updates to come in this story. Coming up on February 23rd at 6.30 p.m., it's the Ronald McDonald House Charities of Northwest Ohio Heartwarming Party, which will be held at the Hilton Garden Inn in downtown Toledo. There will be auctions, prizes, and stories from families who benefited from RMHC of Northwest Ohio. Tickets are available for $100 per person and $1,000 per table at rmhctoledo.org. I'm here at Vital Health in Maumee, and I'm joined by Jacob Spellis, who is the CEO. And we're talking mental wellness, which is a great topic to talk about, especially with it now being 2024. And just before the interview, we were talking about people prioritizing their mental health. And so how do you guys help people do that? Yes, yeah, so we deal with many severe cases. As you know, the gyms are probably filled right now. The <laughs> goals are filled. But how do you sustain that? You know, so when we talk about people's mental health versus, you know, mental illness, I would say. Some people can't control when the year starts. So, you know, a lot of times people come up uh, to us and we have basic advice. So if they're severely depressed, you know, sometimes they're waiting for me to give a magic pill. They're waiting for me to do something. But in all reality, you know, we tell them get the proper amount of sleep first, eat a big protein breakfast, you know, shower. I know it sounds a little silly, but, you know, putting you first comes in many different ways. You know, there's a balancing act sometimes where people say 15 percent, you know, 25 here, 25 here. But in all reality, life is not perfect like that. Sometimes you got to work on your marriage. Sometimes you got to work on yourself. Sometimes you got to work on your career. It just kind of depends on what year you want and what you want to do. Yeah, I think we're on the same wavelength in that area because I was just going to mention that it's going to be different for everyone because yeah. everyone thinks that there's these universal goals you should have when you're addressing this. But maybe for one person, it's work-life balance. Another person, it's getting physically fit, which helps them get mentally fit as well. 
And so what are some of the big things that you're noticing that our community really wants in this new year? Yeah, you know, there's a saying, I'll start with the adult population. We, we deal with a lot of people with addiction. So the opposite of addiction is not recovery. You know, what we hear is it's connection, right? So if I don't feel like I belong in society, why would I act appropriately, you know? For the children, we're seeing a lot of, a lot of more depression. We're seeing self-harm, unfortunately, a lot. We're seeing a lot of schools, a lot of bullying has gotten worse. And then I would also say the stability in the schools has gotten worse since COVID, meaning, uh, you know, I know in some schools, it's like if you miss seven during a semester, then you're kicked out. They've had to extend it due to some of the circumstances, you know? We're also seeing a lot of kids I'm starting to see a lot of undiagnosed autism as well, you know, and it's hard to get resources. Maybe the parents don't believe. Um, and a lot of it's just support. Like, we don't feel like we belong. Yeah, that's true. And we were just talking about this before the interview. Everyone's connected. They're on their device. But at the same time, they don't really feel it because they yeah. expect to get that same in-person connection feeling on social media. And you just yeah. can't redo it in, on a social media app. Yeah. And so talking to youth, what advice would you give to the modern day teen? Yeah, I mean, the common thing is to get off the phone, but adults are doing the same thing. So it's like I'm yelling at my kids on my phone, they're on their phone or whatever. So it's like we got to be a little realistic, right? So set and prioritize for you. You got to get the basics done, chores, whatever. You know, I would advise as weird as it is, you know, I used to hate my mom when she said this, but making your bed when you first start showering and getting that real connection with people and getting real honest is is a start for your mental health and i like that making your bed because i had this discussion with someone recently it actually does more for you than, than you think yeah. i really think so yeah you feel accomplished you know kids don't have maybe a job or something like that but i always recommend that you know and and really you know, we ask kids so many times, what do you want to be when you grow up? What do you want to do? But in all reality, they don't know a lot of that stuff that time. So having mutual friends, you know, and healthy relationships and boundaries is the most important things for kids right now. For sure. Set boundaries and know yourself. Always a good thing to do for sure. Yeah. Jacob Spellis, CEO of Vital Health here in Miami. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for coming. We really uh, appreciate it. And I look up to your career and what you do for the community. And that's your morning news. Stay warm, Toledo.